the college basketball experience preview and picks episode four. Tuesday, December 12th on the sports gambling podcast network is brought to you by hall of fame bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the hall of fame bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today, people. And remember as always folks to let it ride. Hey, this is Derek Stevens. I'm the owner of circle Las Vegas. You're listening to FGPN. Let it ride. Picks episode for Tuesday, December 12th, as games are still going on. Obviously, the slate was not the greatest. Uh, that was uh, that was sheer irony. That was not me saying I'm not gonna be able to va- be available for this one. Uh, it was just uh, you know, I told the guys we could do the show later, but I also was respecting the fact that they're great on the fucking microphone and that they uh didn't want to stay up on the east coast till three in the morning. I don't you know. Noah's Noah's drywall or lack of drywall hits a little different at three in the morning than it does at, you know, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, you know? So uh, I know you guys were, were, were fucking fire fire last, last night. I listened to this, some of the stuff here and it was fantastic. So uh, great work. Great work folks. If you're wondering who the hell you're listening to, my name is Colby swig at database dad, AKA pick. Don D, that's not a pick. This is a pick. He was raised in the land down under, where a man thinks on his feet, speaks with his fists, and lives by his wits. When Dundee happened, he was a superstar. Nobody knows nothing. Somebody knows. Double the price. But no one touches Dundee. We are off and rolling. I mean, we were. When somehow, some way, Texas A&M Commerce, <laughs> my darlings, uh, getting it done. We'll talk about that in a second. I'm joined by my co-host, give it up for former, former video coordinator for Hall of Fame coach Bob Huggins and Frank Martin, host of the Big 12 College Experience. Subscribe. All right. Host of the Ryan and Rush show. Subscribe. That's my check mark. I'm doing youtube.com slash the college experience. Give it up for. Moneyline Mac, aka Ryan McIntyre. How you doing, brother? Doing good, man. Welcome back. Uh, more than glad to give you the host responsibility right back, so I can just sit here and make cocktail runs and have the chat bet the over <laughs> under on how long it'll take me. Let's go, Mississippi Valley State. <laughs> oh, the Delta Devils. Forty. That, that, that line kept climbing, <laughs> kept climbing, and what? It's currently eleven. Eleven minutes left. They're only down. 31. 29? Yeah. Is it 31 or 29? <laughs> They're fine. <laughs> I think you got to hit this shout out to the chat. Shout out to uh TBM. Larry says first time catching live, but I listen at every day at work though. Appreciate you, man. Shout out. What do you do? Larry? Let me ask you that. Uh, I always appreciate people that can listen at work. You know, there's, we have certain ones that are like fucking mechanics that, that hit us up. Say, I listen to your show. Well, while, while I'm fucking repairing, you know, brake pads or some shit. I don't know. Um, but I'm always curious because, you know, what type of job I like jobs where you can do that. When I was like 17 or 18, I did a fucking uh, a summer. Actually, no, I might've even done it more than that. Or working like the graveyard shift at the grocery store. Stonehill. Yeah. there. I, I was doing the Stonehill. I was doing the Stonehill at a grocery store, man. And uh, you get a lot of time to to listen to shit. Back then, technology wasn't that great either. I had a I had a little uh, disc man, you know, just listen to some music while I was fucking sitting there for eight hours, just putting beans on a fucking shelf. Um, he says he works at a warehouse. Okay, so similar, 
Go. similar there. There you go. Uh, shout out to uh, TBM Larry. All right, look, let's recap the games and shout out to the whole chat. Folks, you can watch this youtube.com slash the college experience. Uh, subscribe, tell a friend, all that good stuff. Uh, the game that started off with the bang Texas A&M Commerce 101. Northern Colorado, 99. I bet commerce minus one and a half. Oh my God. The perfect, the perfect sweat to start your morning. (laughs) Yeah. You might, I was still in my house. My wife's like downstairs doing the dishes. I'm screaming. Oh, fuck you. (laughs) Nothing like that. For us, it was like 10 a.m. Uh, yeah. Out here in the West, but uh, what'd you make of this one, Mac? Yeah, we probably were not on the right side of this one. North of Colorado kind of <laughs> dominated for about 32 minutes, but you know, got to trust the process. Elementary day at, <laughs> at Commerce, got him across the finish line. Uh, the little man, Caleb Williams, I thought he was really good. 33 and seven. Whenever they put the ball in his hands, good things happened. Uh, that was a good game. I enjoyed that game. I watched every single second of it. So once again, college basketball. Put your games in standalone windows. There's yeah. no way any of yeah. us would have watched every second and, of a and, commerce and, in Northern Colorado game. And I know we like to say like college basketball, and unfortunately we don't have like a, a president or something, uh, or, you know, there's no David Stern here for this, but uh, uh, athletic directors make it make sense. Put your team on at the time you can get the most views. Cause guess what? Branding is everything as you're seeing with this whole entire sep- separation, essentially, or this new big 10 where you have UCLA taking on fucking Rutgers next year. Branding's got a lot to do with all that shit. So get yourself out there. Um, Howard 68 pen 78. I was on the pen Quakers. I only wish I would have been it. Cause I almost pulled the trigger on this, but I, I did not. What'd you do here, Mac? I ended up going Howard, um, but I was torn on it. It, it was a good game. Uh, Howard controlled the first half, but Penn had a late surge in the end of the first half, into the second half. Penn's good, man. Penn's got a good team. They're going to be a, they're going to be a factor in this good Ivy League. Yeah, yeah, they are. The Ivy's going to be loaded this year, man. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Uh, Delaware, Robert Morris. I was watching this in the studio with the great CJ Sullivan. Check out the bottom line bombs podcast. Uh, man, can we just, he had Robert Morris plus, I think it was four and a half or five. Yep. I didn't bet this game, but if it wasn't for a uh, old fashioned four point play three in the foul, I don't know if that's old fashioned. Uh, Oh, I mean that basically saved his cover. That saved everything right there with like, uh, it's like 10 seconds left. The guy hits a three and gets fouled. If not for that, he, I think he would have lost, but I, I like seeing him win. Uh, what'd you do here? Did you, did you bet this? Did you pick uh, this? Yeah. I was on Bob Moore. So we grinded it out. Oh, it so was, you, you, okay. It was, you, it was sweaty. It was sweaty. It was a oh, lot battle last night. Uh, Noah and uh, CBB, Nick, Nick, uh, Fomlot filled in and uh, they took Delaware. They probably were on the right side, but Hey, we grinded it out, baby. Home dogs. There you go, man. I see that, that, that was a while. Yeah. I, the, look, you hit, you hit. I mean, but if you had to make that bet tomorrow, I do think Delaware might be the better side to play, but Noah, your thoughts on a, on a, on a lock battle loss. Yeah. This, this one was a tough L. Um, the angle here was mm-hmm. that Delaware was just the better team than Robert Morris. Um, and Delaware coming off the winning at Xavier, it, it had been a week since they had upset the Musketeers. So I was like, I, I, both teams had played Xavier. Delaware looked significantly better in my eyes. Uh, Yeah. This is a tough L. Yeah. Shout out to Rob Donaldson. It was on Bob Morris. Um, Bobby. Well, I'm curious. I want to know who you guys took in this next one, because for me, I decided to play the aqua duck. All right. Getting, I think I got eight. Eight and a half. Whew. It was a little, a little they sweaty. Collapsed. Yeah, collapsed. yeah. <laughs> Yale wins by seven. How you doing, folks? I mean, the Aqua Duck is always, dude. This Yale team's weird. And I know you guys were uh, uh, 
I don't know if it was, I don't know. It was high on Yale in the preseason. They're a fucking weird team because they played down to their competition. And I don't know with the Ivy being that good this year, if Yale is going to be able to hold up with so many good teams there tonight, they win. I didn't come away. I watched this whole game. Didn't come away. Super impressed. Even though like I know early in the year when they played at Loyola, we were sitting there saying, Hey man, yeah, they're good. I don't know. I'm, I'm coming. I don't know where I'm at with Yale. I think they're a good team, but I don't think they're as good as I thought they were Mac, your thoughts on the Bulldogs. Yeah, they're up and down. Um, I was on Yale. I thought it was a good bounce back coming off the Fairfield loss. I know they had a D two in between, but they kind of they were asleep at the wheel. They were sloppy to start the game. Quinnipiac kind of took the fight to them, but the uh, Yale give credit. They were able to grind it out with the comeback in the second half. Noah, would you say? I know you. We were. I mean, I think we we're all. So were I of- I had Quinnipiac last night. I'm actually kind of down on Yale right now. I think they're actually uh, they're a bit wound, wounded. Matt Noling's playing through an injury right now. He didn't play. He only played 26 minutes tonight. Um, and it's been that way the last two games since he's been back from the injury. Um, so I, I, I said it last night. It's something to watch here. Cause I don't think Yale's 100%. Um, Cause when we saw them, that West coast trip, Gonzaga, Loyola, Marymount, I was very impressed by the Bulldogs right now. I, I, I want no uh, part in backing them right now that they're, current uh price wherever they yeah. get listed at because yeah. I just don't think they're one hundred percent. Well I was like looking ahead today in the office doing some work for uh scheduling the college basketball episodes and I was looking at January and Ivy's so good so there's a lot of those Friday night games. They're gonna be loaded there. Shout out to Michael Huffer in the chat who says Colby I gotta shout out Muddy Waters. Hey my dog Muddy Waters and uh and he says, awesome dog name. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. And look, it's based on the blues, the blues musician, uh, muddy waters. If folks out there don't know who that is, I highly recommend if you're a Led Zeppelin fan, just going to go ahead and say, you should probably check out muddy waters because uh, they happen to be, they happen to do a, some of the most f- famous uh, Led Zeppelin songs are uh, muddy Waters songs. A lot of people don't know that there's a couple others too that, uh, He's just a fucking great musician. Rest in peace. And then, yeah, Muddy Waters, my dog. Fantastic, man. How many, uh, you have a dog, right, man? I got two. I got two. Yeah. So, yeah, they're the best. What, what kind of dog are you working with? Uh, the one is an English Shepherd. The other one's a little bit of a lab slash retriever mix. So a little bit of everything. Gotcha. Yeah, my guy is, I think, I got him from a shelter, like right along the Arizona border. But he's a uh, Shepherd, Husky, and Doberman mix. So he's just kind of all over the fucking place, but uh, yeah, man, shout out to all the dogs out there. Let's go. Um, let's talk about uh, this. Uh, let's stay in the Ivy. <laughs> I know no, Noah's not pro dog, but I mean, unless, unless it's winning him money, but uh, the Columbia lions, the Columbia lions, getting it done. I rode the minus one. I didn't bet this game. Cause I would never bet on fucking Columbia, but uh, what, what, what do you, what'd you make of that? What'd you guys do in this one? I don't even know. Uh, Ryan, what'd you do? I, I took the point just cause I had no fucking idea. Uh, so I took fair Dick uh, game kind of played out the way I thought it would back and forth. Good game. Good win for Columbia. 87, 83. Yeah. Noah. I, I had fair dick in this game. I actually bet it because it was a small slate. And this is kind of like, what is Columbia doing laying points on the road? That's why I bet it. Uh, upset, but it's a small slate. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we were grasping at straws. I had to talk myself into a couple locks. This was not one of them. I felt good about Jacksonville. And I felt good about Jacksonville. Well, I did not watch this game. But I felt good about it when I checked the score and saw they were up five with 37 seconds left. Figured, hey, they're gonna get fouled, and I'm gonna cover this four and a half. No, if if anything, the game goes to overtime, and then you get what you deserve, you filthy dolphins. You lose outright to South Carolina State. Can't believe. I thought maybe maybe the 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 lock, you know, the the spread was in jeopardy. I didn't think they'd lose the game outright. You fucking losers. Uh, what what did you make of this one, man? Yeah, man. The Mehack and Swack teams continue to roll at home. 
a weird game because uh, Jacksonville kind of dominated the first half, and then South Carolina State went to the press, got back in it, and then South Carolina State unraveled with the technical foul at the under like three. It was like three minutes left, and that kind of gave Jacksonville some momentum, and then Jacksonville choked it away down the stretch. Good win for Emar to Eric Martin down there, former Bob Huggins assistant coach. And shout out to uh, Robert McCray, whose dad listens to the pod. Sorry, I didn't mean to say everyone's said Jacksonville's a bunch of fucking losers. Not your son who had 22, five, uh, 22 points, five boards, six assists, five steals. Good God. Fucking Wilt Chamberlain. That's fucking Wilt Chamberlain. Modern day Wilt Chamberlain right there. Come on, uh, Dolphins. Get the man some help. I know. Fucking come swim with the fucking Dolphins. All right. Uh, Go, dogs. Stonehill, New Hampshire. I think I covered on this. What did I get this at? Yeah, Stonehill plus 14. I can't believe I was sitting here making the picks and I was just like, Ugh. it's just too many. It's just too many. Well, it's just one point too many because uh, uh, New Hampshire wins 75 62. Your thoughts on this one? Great teams cover the graveyard. I locked this. You can't lay 15 with or 14 with New Hampshire. Get that Dude, out of here. The sweat was legit on this one. But the I sweat. will say they played well tonight. They were within two. Stonehill did. The yeah. Way. Yeah. I thought the well, graveyard actually looked pretty good. <laughs> I did watch the whole game and, and uh, New Hampshire did get out to an early lead, but Stonehill battled back and like cut it down to like two or three. I feel like, and yeah. then uh, we're able to stay somewhat in, in distance. Uh, for the whole game, but then almost blow the cover. Now I was dumb enough. I did lose a solid. So I'm going through, like I said, grass match straw is here, man. I did. I feel great about any of the games. No, if anything, the one I would have told you that I felt great at the best about would have been Jacksonville <laughs> uh, or, or actually I think someone did ask me in uh, DMS. Uh, and I said, take my, my top play. I think I said would be uh, one that I'll mention later. And Jacksonville. So there was two that I liked. And watch, I'm probably gonna go oh and two of them. So uh, but I was just grasping at straws and I was like, Alabama A is getting a lot of fucking points, man. <laughs> I Dude, I bet this. I'm so glad I stayed off. <laughs> I just watched this whole game. No. No. Terrible handicap by me. This team sucks. This team sucks. Samford, uh, I think A and M was getting 20 or 19 and a half. They lose by 27 and it could have been worse. I'll be honest. Like I feel like Sanford even called off the dogs. Absolutely fucking terrible. What'd you make of this one, man? So Sanford's a weird team because they press. So like they have a way of humiliating these really bad teams because they don't let up. So I don't know, put that in the back of our minds going forward when they're laying these big numbers. So yeah, good one, Sanford. I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. C- currently, Gonzaga. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Down to the wire, man. Can't get make it. Yes. They're up by <laughs> what? What's that? You have it live. I'm looking at a score. They just cut it to 37 with three and a half minutes. Mark Fuse got the like sweat. his first. He's got his first string walk ons in. You got to go to the second. Put the grandson <laughs> in. Put the cousin in. Get, yes. get, the, get the five foot five guys. And these still guys got some size in there. Come on, man. Come on. Get ready for UConn. You guys got humiliated last year in the elite eight by him. <laughs> so one of the, uh, the plays, like I said, I, I think someone DM me today and he said, what are your top? Pl- what is your top play? And I responded with Matt. I think these are the best two plays. Jacksonville was one of them. And I forget, like, I think I valued them both at the same level. The second was, I thought new Orleans getting a gigantic number at (laughs) San Francisco was silly, but here I'm looking at the score right before the half and the Dons are up 21. I know. Fuck. Second half team, man. I mean, it was tough. There was not a lot on the slate. I liked, but those two that it looks like I'm going to go oh and two in those fucking things. Noah, your thoughts? Uh, yeah. Last night I was like instantly telling Mac, "This is just you. You can't bet this game. Like either well, way, why? New Orleans just kept it close with fucking San Jose State, man. Yeah, you know, San Francisco's let. looked really, really good this year. I understand that, but they're not the type of team. San, I, the way I value San Francisco is similar to like a UVA, where I feel like whenever they play. Uh, you know, like especially as a gigantic dog, I love taking the uh, as a gigantic favorite. I love taking the dogs. So 
I mean, I feel like that's been my play with San Francisco for like 20 years of, of betting was like, I mean, Oh, and th- when they're laying 15 or 14, you always take the points. There's, there's still 20 minutes left in this game. They lead by 17 at the half. Uh, the, We're gonna cover. the pick, the pick that I gave out, we had a SGP on company meeting today. Um, and we were struggling for a fifth lag and there Kramer just goes, Hey, no, you gave out a winner in college basketball last time, right? You want to jump in here? Not knowing that the slate is what it is today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so then I, I go, I go to the Dons and right now we're sweating out uh, the lower than eight and a half rebounds and assists for uh, Sharavjaya. <laughs> Mike <laughs> Sharavjaya. It's what a name. The yep. fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And then we have Utah tech down four right now to, to Northridge. Who knows? I took tech, but Who'd you take in that one? I took Dixie. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. I was back I t- and forth. I took Dixie too, but I mean, I yeah, the slate was was just absolute ass. Oh, a lot of people think I aligned my Christmas uh, parade shit that I was at with with that slate. No, just a beautiful accident, man. Just a beautiful accident. Uh, <laughs> all right, look. Let's get to picking tomorrow's action. Uh, but before I do that, I want to tell you that the college basketball experience is brought to you by underdog fantasy. Yes. Underdog fantasy has a play, uh, has a way to play alongside your favorite fantasy players all season long. They got NFL, NBA, NHL, college football, and college basketball, baby. Simply pick higher or lower on your favorite players, fantasy stats and cash in Noah. I know you just mentioned, uh, you know, a play that you were on, but what are you thinking for tomorrow's action? Yeah, Mike from San Francisco has one rebound, one assist at halftime, two fouls. So that's great. That's great. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, today, or like for Tuesday's slate, only one game is listed on Underdog right now, and it's Alcorn State and Maryland. Now, I'm not going to promise you that this play will appear in the uh, Underdog Daily article that I write for the Sports Gambling <laughs> Podcast.com. However, I, I, kind of, I kind of do like it. It's along the same lines. Um, I, I figure that Maryland is going to run it up on Alcorn State, and they might have to pull their starters at the end. But um, in the six games that Maryland has played against mid-majors, Julian Reese has scored more than 14.5 points in five of the six. And against mid-majors, he's uh, covered this number by 13, uh, by 3.5 points or more um, in all of them. So uh, – by an average of three and a half points. Sorry, I misspoke there. So Julian Reese higher than 14 and a half points. That's the play for the show. There we go, folks. But that is why underdog fantasy is awesome. And I highly encourage you. It's just not me just, you know, saying whatever product that we, that pays us. No, I really believe this is awesome. If you love college, if you love just props and stuff like that, like college basketball, you're not going to get this shit elsewhere. For college football, college basketball, it's absolutely fantastic. So watch along, make picks, maybe make a little extra cash on Underdog's mobile app or website, underdogfantasy.com. When you sign up with the promo code SGPN, Underdog will double your first deposit up to $100. I'm sorry, did I say SGPN? TCE SGPN. TCE SGPN is the promo code. Help us, guys. All right. I know some people accidentally signed up with, with the other one. All right. Didn't do you nothing. All right. I'm, j- I'm, j- I'm joking. We want the TCE. Yeah, I, I think SGPN you still bro. got the bonus. It, it got you something, but TCE. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I know. Represent for us, man. Fuck. We're grinding every night doing shit. All right. Um, so do that. Underdog fantasy promo code TCE SGP. If you take a photo of you signing up once you're in, show it to me. Take a screenshot, whatever the fuck. I don't give a shit if you take a fucking Polaroid camera and just take a shot of you on your computer screen. As long as it's visible to me, just find me, get me that thing. And uh, we're going to enter you in a rigged raffle. Where you're going to end up with some college basketball experience gear. You'll be walking down the street, whistling and shit. You know what I mean? That doesn't happen much. You put on some new college basketball experience shit. You're going to be whistling. You're going to walk into the post office to get your fucking mail. And all of a sudden, Everyone's going to see that pep in your step and say, Hey, I want to be like this guy. Right. And every gal out there is going to say, this guy's interesting. Look at that new shiny ass shirt and that pep in a step. I want to know what that's about. It's just going to follow you home. Right. She's going to knock on your door. And the next thing you know, you're going to be fucking dating her. All right. And that's when the next step happens. You go to fucking 
Aruba with her. You get pregnant. I mean, she does not you, you know what I mean? Right. And the next thing you know, you're having a fantastic fucking life all oh, because I mean, lemonade for everybody. All right. All oh, because you were wearing a TCE sweatshirt down there at the post office. It's all about all I'm saying. Come on, get that, get that whistle back in your life. All right. What's up? I see you celebrating over there. What's going on? I uh, just cut it to 39 with 60 <laughs> seconds to go and one. Yeah. He's- these refs are trying to cheat us, man. Many Zaggy's ways to get that. The, <laughs> many Zaggy's ways. The double boat is for like 12 minutes. We get no calls at the Valley. <laughs> many ways to get that whistle back in your life. Uh, <laughs> one of them might be taking the Delta devils in the points. Uh, here we are folks. Tuesday's action three o'clock. There is a 9.00 AM game champion. Kristen's taking on Southern, but we don't have a line for that. Oh, you're going to give us this as the first game. Really? Now we got a problem. Now we got a problem. The fucking Long Island Sharks. I tell this kid. I head to all Massachusetts. All Massachusetts. And you think Rod Strickland and the fucking Sharks won't be ready for this? You're fucking outside your mind. Because I'm telling you right now, the fucking Sharks are getting 18 and a half points. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. The Sharks are going to go in the law. They might win the game outright. All right. Let me, let me tell you something. They might win the fucking game outright. Give me the fucking Sharks and the points. Lock it up, folks. If there's one thing I know, you want to lock it up. All right. Because the fucking Sharks are due. You got that asshole? They're due. Take the 18 and a half, and I'll see you on the dance floor later tomorrow night. <laughs> what are you doing here? Every time I pick them, they get fucking drilled. I'm staying away. I'm going to cheer you on, though. I'll take LIU, but, <laughs> I mean, Lowell got kind of undressed by UMass the other day. They might fuck LIU up here. And let me tell you something. I had a few broads undress me before, too, all right? Let me tell you <laughs> something. No, the fucking sharks are coming through. I know a winner when I see one. And, uh, and by the way, Mississippi Valley State loses by 38. Had them all the way, baby. <laughs> the Delta Devils are covering. Is final? Is that final? Final. <laughs> what nobody a lays nobody lays 40 against the Delta Devils. <laughs> uh Monmouth is catching 14 at Seton Hall. No, no, no. I am locking up King Rice and Monmouth. This is a New Jersey battle here. All on it. What are you doing here? So, you know what's interesting about Seton Hall? They have not covered in five straight games. They've lost four out of five. Just kind of got embarrassed by Rutgers on Saturday night. In a rare spot where I'm going to take a favorite, I'm going to lock battle you. I think they're going to beat up (laughs) on little brother and win by 25 here. Lay it with the Pirates, Shaheen Holloway. I think you're underestimating King Rice, buddy, Mac, but uh, your your beloved look ahead spot. Seton Hall heads to Kansas City for Missouri on deck. They they need a win. They lost four out of five. There's no looking ahead right now. And they, they will need, win. They need a win. They need a they're, win. They're gonna win. They they're will win. win. They just won't cover. Yep. I will say. Part of me wants to sprinkle a little bit on Mammoth's money line yeah. just in case. Like it's either it's going to be a Seton Hall thirty point winner, Mammoth wins the game outright. It's uh, she Shaheen Holloway and Seton Hall. They beat up on these bad teams. They beat up on Wagner. Beat up on Albany. Whoa, 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 whoa! Mammoth's not a bad team. They're all Mama right. beat West Virginia. Yeah, with seven players. <laughs> oh, they're all right. They're they're like Wagner. No. They're no, like they're Albany. much better than Wagner. They're much be- what? They're way better no. than Albany. Get the no. fuck out of here. See, no. go win by twenty plus. Monmouth covers the easy. Let's go. No, he locking it. Yes, let's go, Monmouth. Noah Beanick and myself in a battle against Moneyline Mac and those fake ass pirates. They're not bad, but they're a mid major. This, this is a beat up spot. Let's go see the hall. There's only one pirate out there in college sports, all right? It's fucking Seton Hall. Get the fuck out of here. Um, UT Martin. 
We can lock this. I mean, I think we have to. UT Martin's <laughs> getting 19 and a half in Raleigh against NC State. Fuck out of here. Just simple. NC State loses by 19. Uh, no. They, NC State will win by like 12. Lock it up. UT Martin's covering this thing. OVC, baby. What are you doing here? Yeah, no, that's a great spot because. Um, NC State, they're playing, they've been playing really well. They got Tennessee on deck. So I'm all over UT Martin. I actually think they're going to keep this really close. Lock it. Let's go. Noah? Yeah, I think this is a great spot, too. You guys kind of already mentioned everything. Uh, I think NC State's better than, uh, you know, kind of the six and two record. They had a, a really, their, their first road loss or first road game they lost in Mississippi and they didn't look good. Um, but they lost to BYU. That's not a terrible loss. So uh, I think NC State wins this game comfortably, but this is way too many points. Tennessee on deck. Arkansas Pine Bluff. <laughs> we we got to. an APB on the Golden Lions as they're catching 16 and a half in Tampa. Is this one actually in Tampa? Yeah. At the Yingling Center. I feel like we have to. They should be Florida State. Yeah. They're they're Let's so go. up and down. I wouldn't be surprised if Pine Bluff won. Call the fucking locksmith, because I'm locking up everything. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Give me them golden lions. Love the Kung Pao chicken. VMI is catching 14 and a half at Radford. I struggle with this one. I'm taking the points. I'm just not betting it. I'm taking the fucking points, dude. Yeah. You can't lay this many points with fucking Radford. It is a revenge angle. VMI upset him last year, but I do agree. You got to take the points here. UMBC is getting eight and a half at St. Peter's. Shout out to Terrell Furman in the chat. Uh, we are not there yet. We are not there yet. It's coming. Uh, I, give me the points, I guess. Give me the points. What are you yeah, doing here? I'll take the points. <laughs> <laughs> right State, the Raiders are laying five and a half against Western Kentucky. Get the fuck out of here. Give me the Hilltoppers plus five and a half. The dogs are barking. Sprinkle a little bit on the money line with the tops. What are you doing here? No. Lock battle. I love Wright State <laughs> at home here. Let's go. Wright State's going to drill them. Much no, better team. they're not. Didn't, what happened last time you faded Western? You took Buffalo. You thought, Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, and you locked it. All right. That was a yeah. fucking battle. All right. You're going to learn that this team's, you're going to hate this team by the end of the year because. They're cha 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 fools gold. Go right. We got a little battle. Right state and money on Mac against the tops. The pick Dundee. Back to back road spot. Ah, Dayton, Ohio from Bowling Green, Kentucky. What's that, like 10 minutes? Huh? We're fine. Don't worry about it, all right? Um, Hofstra and Speedy Claxton are getting 15 and a half in Cameron Indoor Stadium. I actually went back and forth on this one. Give me the points. What are you doing here? I don't know. This is what the I thought the hardest game to cap on the slate. Yeah, I, I I'm mean, actually gonna Duke, lay it. Let's lay it. Let's lay it. Yeah, Duke seems like the bully this year. They beat up on the average teams, the mid majors, and then they play anybody worth the shit. They get beat. So give me a Duke here. Lay it against Hofstra. Yeah, let's go. Uh, well, um, Alcorn state is catching 20 and a half at Cole field house, wherever the fuck they call this new stadium. Now, uh, it's Cole field house. Um, that's too many points. Give me the Braves Braves on the war path, baby. All right. No. Yeah. Touchdown Washington Redskins. Let's go. Easy, Touchdown. easy play, right? It's too many points. Yeah. 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 I'm not locking it though. <laughs> 
Georgia Southern is getting 33 and a half at Tennessee. Nope. Take Tennessee. Should we bet on Tennessee? I'm not. Georgia Southern's 0 and 9, man. Tennessee's got a look ahead spot coming off the Illinois game. That thing gets close to 40. I'm betting Georgia Southern. Check the picks page. <laughs> I'm not watching right I now. I might bet I on to, Tennessee. I need some more points. I need some more points. I need 36. The Bryant Bulldogs and Phil Martelli Jr. are getting 18 and a half at Cincinnati. Cincinnati's been drilling teams at home, man. Give me the 18 and a half. It's too many. It's too many fucking points, man. It's a team that beat Howard. It's a team that beat Florida Atlantic. They only lost by nine to Rutgers. Rutgers and Cincy are on the same fucking level. Give me the points. What are you doing here? I kind of feel like this is Seton Hall and Monmouth. I think this is a trap. I'll lay it with uh, Cincinnati. I'm not going to bet this one, though. I'm, I'm only betting the Seton Hall spot. Terrell Furman's in the chat for one reason. Rivalry. Yes, a heated rivalry. And I have already bet this just like I see he is. If you are watching on youtube.com slash the college experience, Lavelle Melton and central are laying five and a half as they head to Greensboro to take on trail Furman juniors, North Carolina Aggies or North Carolina A and T Aggies. Um, this is a lock spot. This is one. This is the one I probably feel best about. <laughs> Give me central. Give me central minus five and a half. I'm with Terrell. They're going to fuck them up, man. What are you doing here? I'm going to lock battle. You give me a and T all day rivalry. They beat Lavelle Moan twice in a row. Oh, and nine. They're going to get their first win. Let's go. Let's go. Terrell. Let's go. A and T baby. Give me the home dog. Even he has bet his rival. You got to pay attention to the warning signs, man. It's reverse jinx, baby. It's reverse. You you said something before we went live that if you get blown out by Pitt, we should never take you. (laughs) They lost by 48 to Pitt. You're locking up a team that lost by 48 to Pitt. Have fun. See you on the other side of that one. (laughs) We got a lock battle. Terrell Furman riding with North Carolina Central. Max riding with A and T. Southeast Louisiana Sela is catching fourteen and a half at La Tech. Lay it. This is one of my favorite plays. I love Southeast Louisiana here, man. They got embarrassed by Southern the game before that. They were beating LSU for a majority of the game. They were asleep at the wheel. This is a little brother angle. Give me Southeast Louisiana letdown for Louisiana Tech. I think they're live here. Let's go. Was it the uh, fifty-seven point loss to BYU, or the uh, or the fifteen point loss to Auburn? Okay, you'll talk me into picking them. I'm not betting this. You're betting this? Absolutely. This little brother. They Louisiana Tech was laying like nineteen last year, and this game came. This game was right down to the wire till the very end. Give me Southeast Louisiana the Lions, baby. All right. What the fuck? Let's go. Let's lock it up. Let's lock it up. I hope we don't need shit here. I watched that Southern game. Uh, ULM is catching nine and a half at Sam Houston State. (laughs) I'll take the points all day there. What are you doing here? Another lock for me. There's way too many laid with Sam Houston, man. I like this program, but Monroe. I think they keep this thing close and it comes right down the wire. I'll lock it up. I'm not locking it, but Moneyline Mag, I'll lock it up. The Warhawks plus the points. Austin P, the governess, catching 12 and a half at Southern Illinois. Give me the points. What are you doing here? Yeah, I didn't have many locks early, but they're flowing now. Give me the Govs. Uh, Southern Illinois, Southern Illinois is coming off the Oklahoma state win. Austin P's playing better. Finally under, under Corey Gibson. Let's go governors. Lock it up. I'm not joining him on this, but he is locking it up. Southern Illinois, the Salukis. No, he like, he's locking up the governors plus 12 and a half against the Salukis. That will the Phoenix rise. Shout out to buddy love in the chat. Will the Phoenix rise 
Green Bay is getting 13 and a half. I do see a 14 out there. Give me the points. What are you doing here? I'm on the points. Check the picks page. I, I, I might bet it. this. Yeah, I this might bet maybe. this too. No, you got a nudge on this or are you staying out of this? I I have no <laughs> real conviction picking either side here. I'm going Green Bay in the points though. Yeah. Prairie View is catching 12 and a half at Northern Iowa. <laughs> Give me the points. I think PV is decent. Northern Iowa is good though. And I think they're, but I'm still taking the points. What are you doing here? Teams up at home. I'll lay it. Ooey pooey. As Patty C says, I U P U I is at Minnesota. Minnesota's laying 21 and a half. I feel like every at once a week, I'm taking a gigantic dog at the barn and I lose every week, but sign me up again. Give me Ooey pooey plus 21 and a half. What are you doing here? Minnesota's eight and zero ATS at home at the <laughs> barn. I feel like we made shit. This is the grossest play maybe of the year next to Mississippi Valley State. I am locking Ooey Pooey at the barn. You cannot lay twenty <laughs> with Minnesota. They have not had a twenty point line since I, the sixties. I, I am <laughs> not joining you on this, but I do 18. agree in the pick. My line Max locking up Ooey Pooey plus the points. All right, folks, we got a few more to talk about, but before we do that, I want to tell you that the college basketball experience is brought to you by hall of fame bets. Win bigger by betting smarter this NFL season with hall of fame bets, a sports betting analytics platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Research every NFL NBA and soccer bet with historical stats and data. Stop betting in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with hall of fame bets to craft more intelligent data driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching. Start winning with Hall of Fame Bets. All right. We are back on the college basketball experience. Coppin State's getting 20 and a half at Georgetown. Give me the points, I guess. But I kind of think Georgetown could smack them. I'm staying away. What are you doing? Yeah. I kind of think they're going to get smacked here. Uh, now, man, uh, is the line telling us that Georgetown's going to win by forty? I think Georgetown could, but I'm not going to bet the game. Give me the points. Yeah, it is they're the right points. there. They're right next to each other. So I contradicted myself a lot on the <clears> show tonight. I, I picked A and T despite losing by fifty. I say you can't ever lay twenty with Georgetown, but I'll I'll lay it with Georgetown. I'm not betting that though. You want to get. Here's my play. They might be one and eight. Who we got? But, but damn it, Northwestern State's covering when they go to Boise. I agree. They are getting 22 and a half points. And I actually think we should probably wait. This, this might be 23, 24. But at even at 22 and a half right now, the demons are covering this. At the fucking Albertsons Extra Mile Arena or some shit. They're covering it. Set simple. I know they've lost eight straight. They were one and oh. And they've lost eight straight. Only lost by nine in Hattiesburg. Let me tell you, Hattiesburg gets lit. Yeah. Only lost by four to the ULM squad. You were just locking up. Only lost by three to Presbyterian. They're just chippy. They're chippy enough. 17 to Tulane. What the hell? Is this line 22 and a half? I love this play. Give me the demons. I'm I'm Double with lock. you. This, yeah, this is this in Southeast Louisiana. I think they're not getting respected enough right now. Boise's coming off North Texas, St. Mary's, Butler, BCU, Virginia Tech, Clemson. They've been playing a gauntlet. This is a good spot. They'll be asleep at the wheel. They'll win by 15, 10 to 15. Let's go. This might be my favorite bet on the fucking slate. I know I mentioned yeah. eight, uh, Central. This one's right there. I love this my boy, one. My boy Ricky Cabrera, yeah. baby. Southland action. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Oral Roberts is getting 12 and a half in Lubbock against Texas Tech. Nope. I'm going to lay it. What are you doing here? I'm going to lay it too. I don't think Bob Roberts is that good. I do like Northern New Mexico taking on New Mexico <laughs> State. We don't have a line for that, but shout out to that game happening. Uh, Cal Baptist is catching 13 at Oregon. I kind of love the dog here, man. I think I think, we, I think we should bet it. Yeah, they're off the Dixie State loss, which was disappointing. They've been rolling before that. 
Maybe looking ahead to Oregon. Oregon, while the Oregon's been playing good, but they're kind of due. They're kind of due for one of these clunkers here. This seems like a good spot with Syracuse on deck coming off Michigan and UTEP. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Cal Baptist. We're going with the Lancers. Lock it up. Sprinkle a little bit on the money line. So that's our show, folks. Uh, my locks are the fucking Long Island Shocks. All right. Uh, Monmouth, the Hawks, UT Martin, APB on oh my Golden Lions, Arkansas Pine Bluff. I am also locking up the tops of Western Kentucky. I am also locking up the Bryant Bulldogs and Phil Martelli Jr., North Carolina Central, Southeast Louisiana, plus the points. And then uh, it's Northwestern State and Cal Baptist. If you had to ask me my favorites, that's we're ranking these. I think it is Northwestern State or North Carolina Central. Those are the two ones I feel best about. Mac Fire. Yeah, I got a lot of gross dogs again, but I'll lead it off with the favorite here. Bounce back for Seton Hall and Shaheen Holloway against Little Brother and King Rice and Mom. I think they're going to win by 20. Uh, I got UT Martin is a big dog going to Raleigh. Look at spot for the Wolfpack. Pine Bluff with the letdown spot off the Florida State win for the Bulls of South Florida. Wright State lay it back at home against Western Kentucky. Uh, the rivalry game, give me the points at A&T. I think they might get their first win over Lavelle Moden to make it three in a row in that rivalry. Southeast Louisiana, one of my favorite ones at Louisiana Tech here. I think that they're due for 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 a good night here in the in the little rivalry here. Uh, Monroe at Sam Houston. That's too big a number. I'm all over the Govs in Carbondale against the Salukis of Southern Illinois off the OK State win. <laughs> this is gross. Ooey Pooey at the barn catching the big number. Let's go. They're going to lose by 20. Cover the number. Northwestern State. We both love at Boise. We think Boise will be sleeping at the wheel here. Cal Baptist at Oregon. Same situation. They've been playing all these hard games just like Boise. We'll take Cal Baptist as a dog. And I may add Georgia Southern tomorrow if it gets close to 40. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. What are your locks here, man? So uh, to be completely honest, I was not ready for the early start time today, guys. So I really only bet That's, on the spots that I like this, for this fucking guy over here. So I, I, I'm running we, through the slate with the guys. We just here. did I, an hour fucking show. I know. Well, I'm also doing stuff behind the scenes. So I, what do I you need? I'm, what do you need over there? You need a fucking playbook from God. I need to look at the cocktail napkin. Um, but <laughs> I, I bet on spots. Uh, we'll look at the matchups later on today. Get a fucking Dalmatian. Uh, so All right. I already have one. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You do. Um, so, <laughs> God damn it. so check the picks page, uh, sports gambling podcast.com slash college basketball picks. I have plus 14 and a half with Monmouth against Seton Hall and plus 19 and a half with UT Martin against NC state, but there will be more tomorrow. Get the fuck out of here. He didn't have time. It's at the grocery store. All right. Grocery we just did an hour store, show. We just did a fucking hour show. Aisle 12 is your fucking winners, buddy. All right. Uh, I, I like to give Noah a hard time. Noah's great. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh yeah. He's fucking great. I like it when he does the edibles more. So we got to encourage him to do more edibles. But uh, by the way, currently New Orleans down 17. Hey, that's 16. a cover right now. 16. 16. There we go. Yeah, good teams. Uh, Let's go. Utah now. Tech, Cal Northridge. It's at Northridge up six. So actually, we wouldn't be hitting Dixie yeah. State there. Uh, folks, we are the college basketball experience. We're back every fucking night. All right. So get ready because this week's weekday slate kind of weak. They said finals week or some shit like that. Not buying it. Not I've I've been to many of many of Power Five campuses. They're full of shit. Uh, just bad scheduling. But uh, what's up, Noah? Tune in to SGP tonight. Colby Stock and Bowl games and FCS playoffs. Hey, there we go. Albany, Great Danes. I gave that shit away, folks. They were dogs going up to Idaho. Got it done. Shout out to Reese Poffenberger. And yeah, we're talking some bowl games too. So it's coming up in 17 minutes. Let's go folks. This is the college basketball experience. All right. Uh, give us a follow, please. If you can hop on over to iTunes, give us a five-star review. What do you, what is it? What's it going to take a minute of your fucking life? All right. Take a minute away 
from watching the Delta Devils and and give us a five star review on iTunes. All right, that's all we ask. Subscribe, youtubecom slash college experience. And yeah, let's go. All right. Until next time, folks. This is the college basketball experience. You better start thinking about yours. And we are out of here. State of the art, state of the art, yo. Oh, hot shit, hot shit, certified official. DJ Nico, yeah, that's right. Run for cover, yo. I'm a science evidence, bad mood, I live in squadron, yo. Yo, inherit the earth, yo, times if you're righteous, whether G's are free, the fee is priceless. Snakes are closest, then come my peoples around my way. Real DJs don't share needles. Scratch with the record attached. I chill with L on the tracks. Run beat the wrong side of my axe. Out for throw with this trademark flow. This year, my motto, don't miss your window. Never strap a time when I'm live on stage. I'll turn a bull man to a lady of rage. Certified front man, negotiating poly. A qualified champ, cooling out with Quali. I talk shit, but back it up like Ali. I'm 24 tracks and furniture racks in Bali. You know the R U L E S. Cold beach trees and dames and all sounds compressed. State of the art. Watch out. State of the art. 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 State of